Well, there's some new hope for people losing their sight. It's nicknamed the Bionic Eye, and tonight it gives one local woman a much brighter future. Our Andrea Roan was there to see it happen. It's like going into a tunnel. It's very dark. A description of the most common cause of blindness, macular degeneration. 76-year-old Ann Montefusco started having eye problems 23 years ago, and it's been a steady decline ever since. If you're going into a grocery store, it's like a fog when you're going forward. And you don't see what you're buying, so lots of luck. Her luck may be changing. Usually, we look inside a telescope, but Anne will have one inside her eye looking out, a bionic eye, so to speak. Her doctor recommended this new procedure. It involves placing a telescope directly inside Anne's right eye. This tiny device was approved just last year by the Food and Drug Administration. It's designed for patients who are essentially blind from end-stage macular degeneration of the retina. Dr. Jay Lustbader of MedStar Georgetown University Hospital and his team lifted the retina and carefully placed the telescope inside. This will magnify whatever Anne wants to see and that image will reflect to the back of the eye. So the idea of the telescope is to magnify the view so much that that blind spot becomes much smaller and they can make out the majority of someone's face or the majority of what's on a TV screen, that type of thing. You focus for uh, about 20 seconds. Now I see a B and a T. The surgery is just the beginning. For the next few months, Anne has to train her eye muscles to use the bionic eye, learning how to focus on objects. She has these letters set up around the house to practice her new vision. Well, it's not an overnight thing. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's going to be difficult, which I know, but it's something that I wanted to do. An avid golfer, she still tries to hit the links, but with much difficulty. As she walks the dogs with her daughter, Anne keeps her main focus on her overall goal. And I'll be able to see the golf ball clearly. I'll be able to see the green where no one will have to tell me, well, you know, that's 20 feet. You're 20 feet from the green. This is a club you should use. I will think I will be able to do that by myself. Not every patient with macular degeneration is a candidate for this procedure. They have to be put through a simulation test to see if their eye can adapt. The telescope is only placed in one eye. The other eye is used for peripheral vision. The procedure is available for patients over 75, and it is covered by Medicare. Andrea Roan, WUSA 9. That's really cool. All right, talk about.